Yo team, if you are looking for cheap, reliable flies in a wide range, make sure you check out nzfishingflies.com. Yo, what up fucker whanau, welcome back to another episode. Woo, on a roll, on a roll. Okay, I've got to be honest, I haven't been fishing for two or three weeks now. Since Labor Day, since Labor Day. Um, due to one weekend was family weekend, I went to the Lion Park with my girl and we did that and yeah just had a good family weekend then the next weekend it was pissing down raining which is this weekend which you guys will be seeing in like two weekends time because that's how far ahead i am but anyway so to get a video out for you guys and um yeah just keep this you know weekly thing going i'm going to show you guys my setup i've had a few of you guys uh, ask me what my setup is from head to toe, from waders to vest to how my vest is set up to what rods I have, and also Max Catch coming through again. This puppy, I'm only showing you guys this puppy, so stay tuned and let's get into my setup. So, um, before I, we get into me showing you the gear, this is my man cave, she's a bit beer, it's a bit beer. I've got a, got a toilet and a shower just in case I get kicked out of the out of the main house. I've got a sink that works, so I can pretty much live in here. There's my charging station just there. Got got my deer head. Right, I've got my deer head. Right, right there. That's my that's my fellow deer. Some probably most of you will know what I'm what, what I've seen. Over here is a um is a picture. Of um, that my papa drew for me. I've actually uploaded that um, photo on Instagram, and he drew it. But um, we'll get you guys a close look. Oh, get out of it. So it's a sick photo. It's a sick, sick picture. He's done such a good job of it. And um, yeah, pretty stoked with that. Sound bar, bass, and get that cranking. And um, this right here. This is this is my um it's my pride and joy. This fish right here. I don't know how well it's gonna come up on the camera, but see that? This is a cicada. Yeah, on the Tongariro. Cicada, Tongariro. My first fish on a cicada, my first fish on a dry, I think. On the Tongariro. This was a while ago. Oh yeah. And down here, down here is the good good stuff. This stuff uh, makes me put me into my nothing box. And uh got my it's PlayStation 4. Okay, you guys probably aren't interested. PlayStation 4. Right. And anyway, this stuff here is all my fly tying gear, which I do not use anymore um, because NZ fishing flies. Okay, so first things first, my waders. I have these Riverworks waders. Um, hold on. Let me see if I can find the. I don't know what model they are. But yeah, so I don't know what model they are, but these waders have been the best waders that I um that I've that I've used. These this particular Riverworks model. I don't know. I don't know what model they are. Um, my old man bought them for me for Christmas, but they have been the best. I've had them for two or three two Christmases now and um, yeah still haven't got a hole in them a hole in them touch wood touch the wood oh, my table's made out of wood so yeah it's, it's, it's a little bit beat up this is due to um, a couple of couple of blackberries so yeah it is it is beat up. they are beat up but they're still not leaking oh although I might have a leak in the old crotch but I think it's a very very slow leak and um, I, don't, I don't really get up to that depth anyway, but when I do, it doesn't seem to leak. They, they have by far lasted me the longest, and um, I fish quite a bit, so quite impressed with that. But these bad boys, my boots. So I got these for my birthday this year, or was it Christmas last year? So yeah, these are probably just ones, may, maybe not even like a season and a 
a season old and um, yeah, they've blown apart like fully blown apart the inside is absolutely horrendous I don't know how well you can see that but inside all the materials ripped out and um, yeah like the tread is absolutely just gone and so these are pretty much useless um, but I'm gonna stick with it because man can't afford boots all the time so yeah these boots I wouldn't rate them I had the ones that are lower the cheaper ones of these beforehand and they lasted me like two and a half seasons and these ones are like the one up from them and they are just I need some new boots for Christmas thanks there we go yeah boots Christmas coming up soon Christmas coming up soon too all right now we have my pack this pack is from airflow I believe and it is the dopest pack ever like if Max Catch made a pack like this I need to get into it because this pack is sick yeah I've got all the pockets I need I've got my nymph box in here and uh, it's kind of kind of full-ish not really I've lost a lot of nymphs to the river god so I've got my nymph box in there and I've got my dry box in here with my uh, my two licenses for Topol and uh, and the rest of New Zealand. So I've got those in there in my dry box. And those are the only two boxes I carry in my pack because um, I do big missions and uh, it gets quite heavy if you carry a hundred boxes in your bag. Um, got tippet holder over here. I've got from five pound this stuff is absolutely terrible don't use it it's just horrible and then we've got this black magic stuff from six pound right up to ten pound and that is the money like that's the money money this stuff rubbish get rid of it i've tried uh scientific anglers one rubbish get rid of it uh what else have i tried the airflow rubbish all the airflow ones are rubbish whatever they're rubbish compared to this I know this doesn't have, isn't fluorocarbon, it's, uh, what is it? I don't even know what it is. Copolymer. So even though it's copolymer, um, it's still way better than the fluorocarbon, and I've had fish to eat. I know there is perks to fluorocarbon, like I don't fish down the South Island, so I guess that this stuff might not work as well, but it works for me up here. So yeah, anyway. We've got clippers here, thanks to Max Catch, Max, Max Catch clippers and uh, a torch and then New Zealand fishing uh, indicator tool tool. We have in here check nymph indicator stuff and in here some yarn. So that's all, that's all I need at the front, that's great. On the back here I've got my net, it's up up there so I can reach around like this really easily so easy as you can tell so easy unclip playing the fish Beow! playing the fish bam got the net get in the net grab the fish chuck it out of the net there you go catch it tomorrow anyway and then <laughs> you can just easily as you can tell easily chuck it back on over the old shoulder all right and now in the back here, I have my my jet boiler or my bush buck boiler Spitfire. This thing is sick. So like, if you ever need hot water or if you want to have backcountry cuisines, just whack this out, dip that in the water, man. And that's all I have in the back. That's it. Oh, usually I have some silicone, but Kane stole it. Thanks, Kane. I'm standing my silicone. Gotta go buy some more. But yeah, you anyway, know that's what's in my pack. Okay, so. Right here is the bee's knees. This thing is the best thing I've ever had. I uh, can hold all my fly gear, well, everything that I need for any condition, for any uh, time of day, everything sits in here. And um, I wanna show you what's inside. Now, I'm just gonna open this bad boy up. Bang. Bang. In here I hold one, two, three, four, Five fluorides. I've got two six weights, two 
chick nymphrods and an eight weight and oh my glass so I've got six rods I've got my glass two six weights two chick nymphrods and my glass rod my three weight so that all sits in there beautifully look at that look at that still sit in there nice and nice and dead okay over over I'll bring you guys up bring you guys up come in Right. right here we have my check nymph reel. This is the we got the super light, super light there. We have I believe this is the sparta there. Yep, so that's my six weight floating line on here. What have I got in here? Oh yep. Yeah, got my lamps and liquid two, I think it is, um, and that's got my three-weight floating line on it. This one is my. Oh, that might be my. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now we are right. And then on here, we have some more floating line on my Lamson Remix. And last but not least, on. The old Manic, this was my very first reel I've ever had. I've gone through a few reels, but this one's just survived. And um, yeah, I don't know why, but yeah, this reel's got my fast sinking line on, just in case I want to go and throw some streamers. And in here, we have gloves, different type of gloves, and my buff, thanks to Max Catch. So that's pretty sweet. And then, here we are. If, uh, we got, I got three different compartments, which have three different um, boxes, well, four different boxes. There's my glow bug, just in case um, I go to Nongata. <laughs> um, and in here, what do I have in here? Oh, my wet flies, my wet fly box. And then in here, what do we got in here? I think this is my salt water flies. Oh yeah, my salt water flies are kind of messy up from when I tried to catch kingfish and that didn't work. And in here, last but not least, what's this box? It's, uh, oh yeah, movie flies that I'll probably never ever use, but apparently they work. But anyway, yeah, that all fits in there. You can buy this from Max Catch, flip and get yourself one. It's so awesome, you can carry around all your stuff. And um, yeah, over here, let's not forget, there's my Scott, my baby. This is my lover. I've kind of retired her because um, because I, I don't want to hurt it any more than I already have. <laughs> um, and here I've got an eight weight, uh, just an airflow, and there is my salt water rod, which is absolutely just fire. I'll just get. Oh, I just want to show you guys the reel again. This reel is sick. Oh, look at that baby. Ah. Oh. Yeah, uh, yeah, and it's ultra nice to cast too. And this reel is just, yeah, it's just nice. I, I want to feel a fish on it because then I can give a good review of it or a bad review. But yeah, I'm pretty sure she's gonna be pretty sick. Yeah, so that's it, partner. That's what I use. That's all my gear. And this thing, this travel case, I'm pretty sure it's called a travel case. Check it out maxcatchnz.co.nz you know the drill use code mxc20 20% off that bad boy right there and also use code fucker5 to tell them that you are part of the fucker5 we got a thousand of you I'm pretty sure by the time this video comes out I'll have a thousand pretty confident yo fucker5 we did yo alright thanks for watching see ya gotta let them know I'm uncontrollable Oh, yeah.